Hello you, I hope you're super duper. I just wanted to see what it's like to have a chat on here as I quite like the idea of doing a few vlogs here and there. I think a vlog is a video and vlog joined together. So sort of like catching up. And I'm gonna scatter these vlogs between my violin music videos. I really love my YouTube channel. It's the best tool for me able to express myself and reach out to you, especially during crazy times like these. I've been reading so many lovely encouraging comments from you on my videos and feel very thankful for the support. Subscribing to me and following my journey, 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 <laughs> sorry. Um, I like the idea of vlogging and think it's nice for you to be able to get to know who I am behind the violin. I am currently in England and we're in another lockdown. I'm spending my lockdown with my family and luckily I'm finding the time to still be able to work practicing the violin and making some fun videos when my boyfriend has time to kindly help look after our baby. And that usually means um, in the evenings when his normal work day finishes. If you follow me on Instagram, my Instagram is Lettuce Robotham, all one word, or Facebook, it's Lettuce Music, all one word. You might have seen on those two things that I am currently doing a 100 day challenge. It's named hashtag 100 days of practice. And I basically have to practice for a minimum of three minutes, oh, three minutes, sorry, 30 minutes a day. And I'm currently on day nine and I'm so pleased I've committed myself to it. It really helps to document it on my Instagram stories because I feel like it makes me feel accountable as I know people are checking in on me. Well, I think they are because I'm posting stuff, but I don't know. I don't know if people care, <laughs> but I just put it up because um, it makes me feel like I'm being honest and showing people if I practice or not. And so far I've done nine days, woohoo. Um, some days it's particularly hard to find the time to do it, but even if it means playing at like 10.30 p.m. when the baby's asleep and I'm super, super tired, that's basically just what I've got to do and I've been doing that a few times already. Um, if you happen to play an instrument or have a hobby that you would love to get better at, maybe, you know, I was just about to say tennis, but then Probably I can't imagine you can play tennis at the moment with the lockdown. Um, <laughs> what can you what can you practice? Getting a ball into a netball hoop? Um, or practice, oh my gosh, I just thought of like washing up. Oh, um, <laughs> practice, or maybe 100 days of gardening, that'd be quite cool. Um, or 100 days of painting, kind of get the idea. But if you'd like to do the 100 day challenge, um, just let me know in the comments below and um, that you have started and I will be so, so, so thrilled to hear how it's going for you. Um, today, I have just finished filming another violin cover of a song that I think you will have heard of before. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what it is um, because I want you to find out tomorrow and come back to the YouTube channel to have a look. Um, but I um, think you've heard it before and it's a lovely, happy, upbeat song. Um, I'm dedicating it to two very young members of my family who I love very, very much. Um, they're gorgeous. They're three years, three years old? No, four years old now. And two, I think. Yeah, I'm really bad with numbers, but yes. Anyway, mm -hmm. and they've just got a baby bunny rabbit, which is very exciting. And they've called a mini peanut. Anyway, I sing this song with them all the time and it always makes me really happy to hear it. Um, and I'll, yeah, I'll be uploading that tomorrow. Anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed this little chat. It's been a bit of an experiment for me because I've just got to practice, um, practice, practice learning how to um, speak in front of the camera. Um, does anyone else get like brain freeze like I do? I feel like I'm talking and then suddenly I completely forget what I'm saying. And I think it's got worse since I've um, given birth, <laughs> had a baby. I might get like brain freeze, but anyway, um, bear with me, please. <laughs> uh, 
Um, it's been really, really lovely to be able to reach out to you and um, chat and give you a little update on random stuff. Um, I hope you like it um, and I'm going to hopefully do a bit more. And I can't wait to share the violin video with you tomorrow and I'm going to carry on doing all these violin videos and sending them out to you. Um, I think quite a lot now. I've got, um, I've got, got, got into a bit of a roll, but I don't know, I'll touch wood again, hang on. And let's, let's hope it carries on. Um, biggest cuddles to you and happiness to you always. Um, I love hearing from you, love reading your comments, so yes. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe or follow me or what's it called? Click on my buttons.